This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. Well, it looks like cash doll. See, with girls, you always gotta look a, a little bit deeper into everything because everything is subliminals and everything. There was no reason for cash. See, cash doll was hanging out with little Kim. There's no, nothing wrong with that. Little Kim's an icon. Um, but she did take a harsh stance with, uh, you know, the Cardi B, little Kim against Nicki Minaj. She stood with Nicki Minaj. So now, and then she kind of teases, me and Kim was fighting over the bill last night. Like, that's like some cutesy stuff. We know what's going on because just a few months ago, she made a big point that she was hanging out with Cardi B and then she had a problem with the barbs, you know. So she's taking a good, hard stance, sending a message to Nicki Minaj that like, yo, I don't F with you anymore. I'm moving on my own. And, you know, these girls are actually kind of cool. I can't believe I I took a stance against them. And it's like, it's always better to play neutral. Uh, people always say, play it neutral when there's two people who are having a problem with each other. You don't have to, like, call up on the Nikki show and say, oh, yeah, I agree with you. You're right. And, this and, that. and that's kind of what she did in that situation. She was kind of taking Nikki said, so it looks funny now. Everything looks funny. That's just my point. So eh, I think there's going to be some friction with Nicki Minaj and Cash Doll in the future. Cash Doll didn't really take off the way I thought she would. I thought she was going to take off big, but she didn't yet. Uh, Two Chains is going to be leaving Def Jam and going independent. I think that's a good move, especially the way album sales are. He hasn't sold a lot of albums since his second album, really. Um, but he's always maintained a buzz of some sort. Um, and now he's going to go indie. He'll have more control, more money in his pocket, less pressure on touring and other things. So, um, you have more control over his career. I want to know what's up with Cap One. Cap One was signed. I, I don't see him on this new album, if I'm mistaken, but I know he's going hard with school and other ones. But Cap One was the one that was with him from original status. So, um, I hope he's keeping it real with Cap One. Uh, 50 Cent has a message for all the Power fans out there. People didn't really like the show uh, Power last week where it followed Angie's sister through the whole. And they're doing like a story from the beginning, from like a certain point up until when Ghost gets popped and then a little bit after. So they already did Dre. They already did Angie's sister. I don't know who they did last night. I didn't watch it last night. I'll watch it tonight. But uh People had a lot of criticism for that. And he says, you know, you can't make people happy. They always come after me like I'm the one. Well, you did say it's your show with Courtney Kemp. So you're going to get the flack. But, uh, you know, 50 Cent's working on a lot of shows now. I'm, I want to see that life show uh, that's coming out on ABC. And I, what's up with the BMF series, man? Come on. Like enough. Enough is enough. Anyways, guys, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. And I will check you guys on the next video. I appreciate you guys so much.